assalamu alaikum peace be upon you my sisters my brothers and my friends in humanity my name is maliha raza khan and i am a friend of the isaac community i'm a muslim and i attend kalamazoo islamic center today i wanted to share with you a few verses from the quran about racial justice and equity allah has said in the quran from among allah's wonderful signs are the creation of heaven and earth and the differences of your tongues and the variations of your colors and indeed in that are signs for those of knowledge this is from surah number 30 verse number 22 allah also said o mankind we created you from a single pair of a male and a female and made you into nations and tribes that you may know each other and truly the most honored of you in the sight of allah is the one who is the most righteous of you and allah has full knowledge and is well acquainted with everything this is from surah 49 verse number 12 and our prophet muhammad peace be upon him had famously said in his very last sermon that no black person is superior to a white person and no white person is superior to a black person except through piety and good actions he also said our prophet muhammad peace be upon him also said that verily allah has removed from you the pride of the time of ignorance with its boasting of ancestors verily one is only either a righteous believer or a miserable sinner all of the people are children of adam and adam created from dust friends from this we understand that in the eyes of our creator we are what we are only on the basis of our deeds good or bad in fact to be racist is to oppress your own soul friends we were created with the vast potential for love and compassion mercy and extraordinary acts devotion and service to humanity and to the planet to be racist or to be discriminatory or prejudiced or to harm someone because they look different or they come from a different culture or speak a different language is to go against the very nature and divine design of our own creation racism is a sign of arrogance and pride it fills us with hate in anger and bitterness and it inclines us towards the darkness remember that it was satan who was the first racist because he refused to obey allah just because he thought he was better than adam because he was made out of a different material than adam and he doomed himself to an eternity in hell because of his pride his arrogance and his racism so as a muslim as a woman of color and a mother i hope and i want a world where my family especially my child and i have the freedom to be our best possible selves and this is only possible in an environment where our differences are celebrated our talents are cherished and our potential is encouraged into vibrant growth so i stand with my family as well as all the people who face oppression on the basis of their race their color their religion or any other characteristic and are judged on the basis of this rather than on the basis of their actions friends this is a very difficult time for all of us with this pandemic and this unrest that we have in our society 
So I would like to end with a, a dua, which is a, a small prayer that was taught to us by our teacher, Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. And this is the dua. If you would like to do this, please make this prayer with me. And at the end of the prayer, say Amin or Amen. So that you so that you are part of this prayer. O oh Allah, reconcile us with love and understanding between our hearts and resolve our broken affairs and guide us towards peace and the paths of guidance and take us out of the darkness of hate, conflict and ignorance and into the light of truth, peace and love. Amin. And thank you.